Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. Okay, so I have a little cooking video which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, <laughs> I think I have actually more cooking videos on my jewelry channel. So I've have, I have a little bit of uh, channel crisis, uh, identity crisis, huh? <laughs> anyway, so uh, thank you and hello to all my new and old subscribers. Um, I'm going to do a vegetarian style chorizo. I'm not huge on potatoes and I'm not huge on chorizo. But together somehow that works. Uh, I could eat it probably once, maybe twice a year and I'm good. But my dad really likes it and he's coming over tomorrow and I want to have everything done so we can do what we need to get done tomorrow. So I bought this um, at Grocery Outlet. It's soy chorizo so I can eat it too because I'm vegetarian. So I'm going to cut this in half. It was $1.49 and then I'll freeze the other half. Then I bought, I think it was a five pound bag uh, for $1.99 there. I just washed them. Um, or is it 10 pounds? Let me look. Okay, these are the potatoes. I think this is, it was probably a five pound. Yeah, five pound. Because I did eat one and they're, I, yeah, so that's, it's like 20 potatoes. So about 40 cents or 10 cents each. And then I got some fingerlings. And you're probably wondering like, why do you buy potatoes if you don't like them? My dad likes them and I'm going to be using the rest to chop up and make stew packets um, for the fall and winter for him. And I hear there's going to be a bit of a shortage on potatoes and rice. And so I thought, well, buy it now and I'll, you know, we'll have them in the freezer for later. And then the eggs. Now the eggs were a little more, um, but I wanted them because they were the jumbo and they were, um, oh, I think it was 20 for $5.99. So that's 30 cents an egg, which is a little more than I like to pay because normally it's about 20 cents. Um, I'm going to use six of them in here. And I wanted them because they were um, organic plus they were um, cage-free um, and free-range. So that mattered to me. So anyways, I was happy to get them. Uh, for a while, we couldn't find eggs here either during the first beginning part of the pandemic. So what I'm going to do is slice this in half and freeze it. Um, and I'll show you the next step. But all together, this whole... Um, meal cost $2.95 and it'll easily be like four servings for sure. So let me go ahead and I'm going to nuke these. I'm going to poke some holes in my potatoes, cut this in half and freeze the other part and then I'll crack my eggs and scramble them or uh, mix them up in my little pitcher. One second. Okay, so sorry for the background noise. It's my microwave. Yeah, I use a microwave to do the potatoes because it's just a little too warm here to be firing up my oven and they cook faster that way so um, the only thing you want to do is take the casing off of the chorizo so it crumbles pretty easily easily so I'm just gonna literally put it in my pan uh, I just squeeze it out of the casing I know my pan looks like it's not clean but it is it's just um, the bottom looks that way from a lot of use so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It probably looks gross, but believe me, you guys, it's pretty good, especially with the potatoes. I don't care for it without the potatoes. <laughs> so I'm going to get this in here, and you have to cook it up. Um, if you have the pork chorizo, make sure you cook it really well. I always start off on a low heat, um, and then I add the cooked potatoes to it once it's basically cooked up. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I've got, um, I got it on high heat for right now just to get it kind of going. Um, sorry, I just saw a little stain on the side of my tile there. Um, and then once it, it, I don't add any oil. I mean, you don't need to. There's a lot of, as you can see, oil. So you really don't need to. So I'm going to let this cook up. My potatoes are almost ready. I could add some fajita mix from um, the Dollar Tree, 
but I may or may not. That tastes really good with potatoes. I, I'm not huge about, I'm not crazy about potatoes, so that would be an extra bonus, so I might do that. But let me go ahead and brown this up, and I'll come back. All right, so here is the pepper stir fry. It's a fajita mix from the Dollar Tree. I used a third of the package. I just figured it would be better well-balanced, or more well-balanced, I should say. Sorry, I'm holding my tripod so weird. Okay, the potatoes are done, so I'm going to peel them, and I'll chop them up, um, cube them up, and then I've already cracked up my eggs here and whipped them. I'll put some salt and pepper in there to taste. And I did end up using a little bit of olive oil um, in with my um, chorizo because I forgot. It's been so long since I've made it. The soy chorizo, vegetarian chorizo, has very little oil. It's the regular pork chorizo that I don't add any oil. So just so you don't make that mistake. Okay. One second. So basically with a third of this package, that's 33 cents, this whole meal will turn out to be... Uh, 328 all right so you can see kind of what it looks like I, I didn't overdo it with the peppers and onions I brought up the heat now I'm going to add some more olive oil for the eggs all right so I put the eggs in all six I've got it on medium heat I did add more oil and I'm just going to scramble this and then when the eggs are a little more cooked I will add my potatoes which I have just sliced them this way sorry the it does um chorizo will stain pretty much everything your cutting board so that's why it's looking really orangey I'm not chopping them too small just you know little like cubes and I'm going to add that in and I'll be right back all right I added in the potatoes, and it looks so good, you guys. So I'm going to turn the heat off. I used really very little oil, um, and I added salt and pepper, of course, to the eggs, but not a whole lot of salt because the soy chorizo being, you know, um, it already has a lot of sodium in it. I, I just don't add that much more. So what I'm going to serve this... Um, for tomorrow with my dad is like maybe a couple of corn tortillas and then I'm going to put in some red kidney beans and pinto beans or black beans I'm not sure which combo in the crock pot tonight and we'll have that as a side that's another cheap meal um, on its own but it's really good on the side with the chorizo so this is definitely a heavier meal that I would I don't normally eat um, I would eat normally the beans but not this. This is pretty heavy. Um, especially if it's uh, either, it doesn't matter if it's the soy chorizo or the pork chorizo because it's just got a lot of preservatives in it and um, can be fatty. So the soy not as bad. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you add the beans to it, I'll do a quick breakdown of what it costs per serving on the beans. Um, and then just serve it with hot coffee and you have uh, a couple corn tortillas. Perfect brunch, um, Mexican style, and my dad loves this stuff, so I know he'll be totally excited tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll give you the breakdown um, in the description box below or in the title. Thanks, guys, and I hope you like more of these meals. I'll be showing more of my bean meals also because I know a lot of people are stockpiling them now, and they don't know how to cook them. So I will show you my style. Bye, guys. Give me a thumbs up.